Good morning guys, it is the 20th of September and it's Sunday morning. It's about half eight. Morning Tinky! And um, we've been up for an hour or two, just sort of having a snuggle in bed. Because today is the very last day of holiday, so officially Mike went back to work last week and so did I. Um, I'll do another vlog about it, but I got a job. So I've gone back to doing some bank work for the NHS. Um, some outpatient clinics, some phlebotomy, some COVID testing, things like that. Um, so yeah, but primarily phlebotomy for the minute, which is a job that I did um, for a while, for a good three, three or four years. Um, and then, uh, you know, sort of in between nursing and theatre jobs. And then I, um, so yeah, I did, I was a senior medical assistant. So I did a lot of phlebotomy and a lot of cannulas. Um, in between sort of my band five, band six jobs. And then when I was in anti-coag, um, I did a lot of phlebotomy and stuff for warfarin dosing. Um, so we both started back to work last week, which was uh, an interesting week. It was a good week, but an interesting week. So it's just been a bit stressful learning a new job. Well, it's not technically a new, obviously I know how to do the job. So that bit wasn't stressful, but it's working in new places with new people with new sort of rules and regulations stuff that bit was interesting to learn so last week was a really busy week um, and what I really could have done with doing was getting on with university reading and work which after all this time has only finally just come out so we're a little bit up against it today is Sunday and it is back to uni week tomorrow I don't have sleep in my eye I'm so sorry um, it's back to uni week tomorrow and I'm like Really excited, but really nervous because this is going to be so different. So we're following a blended pathway of learning. So a lot of online stuff and lect lectures are pretty much all online because of social distancing um, and some small seminar groups in person. We can't really study together. Um, the library is completely different. It's really sad, really, and I really feel for the freshers this year. But we have to make the best of it. And me and my little group of girls, we're, we're just gonna do the best we can and enjoy year two as much as we can. So I go back officially on Tuesday with my very first lessons. So um, I'll talk, I'm gonna try and film throughout the week. I'm gonna do a weekly vlog and a first day back at uni vlog type thing. Um, so we'll see where we go and see where we end up with vlogging this week alongside work. So I don't know how work is going to go alongside uni. Obviously a lot of students do get jobs and it just kind of made sense for me to go back into healthcare as it's what I've done before. Uh, you know, so it's kind of easy, but it's a hard job. It's a very busy job. Lots of patients every day, busy, busy shifts. Um, however, because I know it so well, I don't have to think a lot about it. So it just was the best fit for me. And because it's bank, it means I can choose my shifts, which means I can probably do more when we're on um, holiday, summer holidays, and less like exam time and stuff. So yeah, so that's where we're at. So it's a, a lazy Sunday morning. It's starting to feel like autumn now. Out there, it is uh, a little bit chilly this morning. And I noticed that it was dark at 6 a.m. So it started, autumn has started. So, Mike has gone to do something very naughty. He has gone to get a cheeky McDonald's breakfast. Those of you that know us know that we love a cheeky McDonald's breakfast. And I'm still very upset that because of COVID, they've had to stop making the wrap, which is my favorite breakfast wrap. My favorite was the McDonald's breakfast with the sausage and the scrambled eggs. It was lovely. They've stopped making that. McDonald's, please bring it back. Um, but I do love the, the wrap and they've stopped making it for some reason because it means they have to have too many people in the kitchen. So that's their word on that. But I really miss it. But he's gone to get some McDonald's breakfast for us this morning because today I have to do so much uni work and reading in preparation. Uh, yeah, uh, going into year two seems to be a lot. There's obviously a lot more work ahead, but it seems to be a lot more straight out the gate. So I um, finally managed to have a look at um, our learning portal yesterday, Canvas, and just quite shocked by the amount of reading really to start off with. So it's going to be in a bit of an insane week. So come with me, follow my journey. Um, and before I get swept up in other things, I just want to wish um, one of my very best friends, Melissa, 
a wonderful first week at university you've got this you're going to smash it like everything else that you do you're fantastic you're awesome just be your beautiful sparkling self and uh, you'll succeed as you always do good luck love you lots Mwah! and claire if you're watching you're off to be a student nurse at portsmouth uni um it's just so much luck you're going to be an amazing nurse i know that for sure so good luck to you and to holly um, Melissa's sister you're off to uni as well to do clinical psychology and you are going to be absolutely wonderful in that role so you know just well done and good luck to my brother who's going into his second year of his masters uh, in a subject I think it's analytical data or data analytics something like that but something way more clever than I could do anyway but you're doing fab as well I love you loads so everyone's sort of busy and back to it mike's back to work so just it feels really nice to be back in a routine after six months at home shielding um i think me and mike did really well not to, to to kind of kill each other really we love each other to bits but ask anybody if they fancy being stuck at home with cut that bit out so yeah so i need to go and jump in the shower quickly because he's gone to get the breakfast so i better be quick so here we go so the plan for today is a fairly lazy Sunday with an awful lot of uni reading and work thrown in at some point I'm gonna have breakfast now at some point Mike's gonna fix the bed with his dad uh, they need the the bed frame that we bought we bought the Simba mattress which is amazing but the bed frame from Argos is a little bit on the cheapy sort of side of things um, and it just doesn't feel very secure so they've got a piece of MDF to put on, to secure the bed I don't know it's, I'll leave it up to them but they're doing that I'm gonna do my uni work and then we're going to um, I need to cook a roast dinner at some point later on might need to go and get the stuff for that so yeah I've got so much to do today it's actually quite scary how much to do yesterday I had to tidy my study because it's just been left all summer next next year hopefully with all this covid stuff behind us i really hope fingers crossed i can be more proactive and more organized for the start of uni but as usual just like last year after applying through clearing i'm a little bit starting uni on the hop but you know we've got this guys we can do it let's go okay so here we are a lazy but busy day in the life sunday i don't know um I think we'll just go with a busy, almost autumn Sunday. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What have you brought me? Uh, double sausage and egg with muffins. <laughs> An extra hash uh, brown, as you always like. <gasps> okay. You happen to be the best husband in the world. You've got two sparrow juices for Nathan Ooh. as well. So, you're all good. Best hubby in the world, thank you. No worries. <laughs> morning Tinky. Hello, how are you today? Those of you who haven't met Tinky properly, this is our lovely girl Tinky. Hi Tinks! Isn't she beautiful Tinkerbell? She's nine years old and she's Henry's sister. And uh, we lost her. She got lost for four years. And then the RSPCA found her. She got lost when we moved houses. But because of her chip, they returned her to us. And now we've got our beautiful girl back. And she's the most beautiful girl in the world, aren't you, Tinks? Love you. Yeah.
there we go guys so I've had my shower brushed my teeth and I've done my skincare so it's a really quick morning skincare routine this morning uh, so I've used Bobbi Brown Clinique um, The Ordinary and Elizabeth Arden uh, this morning and I'll link those down the bottom uh, just to give me some feeling really as the weather's starting to change I'm starting to feel really dehydrated again so um, yeah I need a little extra boost of hydration so lots of hydrating products this morning but really quick because I need to get on so I'm just going to get dressed oh and to cleanse I used the um, superfood by um, Alemis uh, superfood cleanser and Neutrogena grapefruit exfoliating facial wash just to give me a little boost this morning McDonald's in bed, so good, thank you. Really naughty, but it's a very busy Sunday, so we have to start somewhere. And it is our last day of holiday, really, isn't it? Well, you've been well, back at work, yeah, so, it's not, but so it's technically my last yours. day before uni starts, so. <laughs> but it's our last kind of day without, you know, just chilling. Except I can't really chill because I've got work to do, but yeah. <laughs> So, washing's on, housework for this morning is done. So I've just had a nice little dust and hoover and uh, a bit of a tidy. So, because if you're like me, you can't really focus. Because if you're like me, you can't really focus on getting stuff done until it's tidy. So, now I've got to go upstairs. It's nearly 11 and I've got to crack on with uni really reading and work. So I'm just at my desk finally and I've got my new academic diary out so it's the Macmillan Student Planner which I highly recommend 2021. I've got my little University of Winchester stickers on there um, and basically I'm going to um, put all the details for the modules that I'm taking this year. basically just filled out my diary for the week with corresponding um, colours so yellow is for seminars so at the minute half the group are going to be in for a seminar and the other half are going to be joining in via teams um, which will be interesting to see how that works but we'll see uh, like light blue is social purple is NHS work and then pink is lectures some of them are online so basically um, planned out my first week at least. So this is I'm just getting my sort of individual note taking. I take notes by hand 
quite often and then type them up so um, I'm just getting my individual pads ready I really like the pucker pads always have done because of the individual sections um, so I'm just getting these labeled up and ready and now I'm sitting here and I'm about to start my very first online lecture for this year um, for my Tuesday classes so I'm gonna listen to that now So, I've done my first lecture. It's weird doing it online and not in person, it's weird. Um, but I've made some good notes, so that's a start. I folded some more washing, and I put some more washing on, and I need to clean the bathroom still, but I'm gonna start the roast dinner, so I'm gonna peel some potatoes to do my roasty. Oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm high now. And I am very tired. I'm looking forward to my dinner. Okay, so I'm just sort of making some notes of my modules for this year. So it's medieval history. Uh, so I'm doing a BA in medieval history year two, and it's 2020, 21, I suppose. Um, so my one of my options is Societies at War, England and France, 1189 to 1529. Then I've got Reading History. Then I've got uh, the First English Empire, 1100 to 1350. Then I've got Culture and Society in Late Medieval England. And then POW Lessons, which are peer-assisted learning. So we are currently in the hot tub. Monday the 21st of September and uh, sorry I didn't finish last night's vlog, the battery ran out. Thank you for coming in and out Sasha. Um, yeah we just got in the hot tub and did the dishes and stuff and went to bed. Um, I have loads of work to do today so I'm not technically at uni today. Um, I'm at work so I've got to go to work first for a shift and then I've got loads of uni work to do ahead of seminars and stuff and lectures tomorrow so oh it's going to be such a busy week I'm not quite ready <sighs> deep breaths but um it is dark outside 
it's actually dark outside it's quite weird that it, the seasons are changing already um so it's quarter to six in the morning so i've got to go up and get showered and get ready to go to work so see you in a bit i've just had some porridge a cup of tea fed the cat give mike his porridge and I'm in scrubs today, so I'm off to work now. And those of you that have followed me for a while will know that I can't film at the hospital. So um, I will see you when I get home. Have a good day.